If you're the mum of a child that normally struggles in school a bit because some things are hard work, then my heart goes out to you right now because now you've got to inspire them to sit still, to concentrate and learn at home. Wow. Well, I've got a few tips for you that might just make a big difference. My first tip is this. Don't let them study in the same place every time because that place, wherever it is, dining room table or whatever, will become synonymous with pain, with boredom. Ah. Oh. So move them around, have half a dozen or more different places and move them around for their study to take place in those different places. Second tip, be very conscious of distractions. Children that struggle at school a bit, they are easily distracted. The dog, the cat, loud music, the TV on, whatever it is, can cause them to be instantly distracted and not focus. Minimize distractions. The third tip is, Try getting them to sit on an exercise ball when they're learning. Something like a yoga ball can be excellent. And why? Because that very little movement as they're sitting on a ball is enough to excite their balance organ, their inner ear. That's the bit that gets the brain-body connection excited in the brain, the cerebellum. And that can often be enough to make all the difference between reasonable concentration and no concentration. So try that one out. And by the way, I've got a PDF for you, which you can download and print afterwards, so you don't have to make any notes of these. The fourth one, the fourth tip is really important. There's lots of research around this, and that is only try and make them learn for a few minutes at a time, then give them a few minutes off, preferably to do some physical exercise, especially if it involves getting that inner ear going. So maybe your child can only stand six minutes of concentration. Maybe it's eight, maybe it's 10. Find out what's optimum for your child. And the research says, break up the learning and intersperse it with physical exercise and much more will be learned. Why don't they do that in schools? Well, that's an interesting question. So break up the learning into small bursts. Next one is, do what it takes so your child has a growth mindset. And there's something you can do that's very easy that makes all the difference. The standard way of rewarding children is rewarding them when they get things right, when they get top marks, when they're top of the class and so on. That's the very process that creates a fixed mindset. So how do you get a growth mindset? You simply reward them for trying. Trying is what makes connections in the brain and making connections in the brain creates intelligence. So reward them for trying for having a go, for even having a go to focus for a few minutes. Reward them for that, rather than only rewarding them for having top marks. Makes a huge, huge difference. My next tip, number six, is if they don't find reading easy, then forcing them to read more doesn't help. In nearly every case, the children that don't find reading easy, they're not unintelligent, they're not being lazy. What's happening is they're eye tracking hasn't yet become a fully automatized process. More practice in the main does not help. So giving them more reading is just going to irritate them and maybe even turn them off reading for life. So please bear that in mind. Tip number seven is if you've got a few subjects to study in a week, split them up into those short bursts of six, eight, ten minutes, whatever you decide, and mix the subject up. A few minutes of maths, then some exercise, a few minutes of English, and some exercise, a few minutes of geography or whatever the subject is, and some exercise. Keep splitting them up. The children will learn more and be less bored. Here's a big one, tip number eight. Get them to learn in such a way that they can teach you later on what they have learned. When children are learning just for themselves, they learn far less than if you get them to learn how to teach you what they're learning. It makes a huge difference. See if you can apply that to them. You'll be surprised how their attitude changes and how much more they take in. Final tip for now is, at the end of the day, get them to write down what they've learned and tell them out at the beginning. At the end of the day, you're gonna be writing down what you've learned. That consolidates what they've learned. So I wanna know what your tips are. Please let me know and pass these on to anyone you know that's got a child that doesn't enjoy school too much. So down below, you'll see the download link. Click on it, print it off, stick it on the fridge or wherever you want, and I hope it helps, but I do want to hear your tips. Please send them back to me and I'll share them with everyone. Thank you so much and all the best.